In this session, we discuss embedding video into a WordPress blog post. First, create a post going to Posts, Add New. We've already created a, started a post here. We have a title and a subtitle, and we want to embed a video down in this area right here. Now, WordPress offers a number of options to do this. If we go to Upload Insert, and we click on Add Video, we'll see that we can add video from our computer, from a URL, or from a media library. But this works a little bit differently than it does for images. We can upload video from our computer. We would click on Select File, select the video, and click Open. But we're not going to do that right now, because video files tend to be rather large, so it can be time consuming. Now once I have uploaded a video from my computer, it will show up in my media library just the way images do. Now, the in adding media or adding video from a URL can actually be a little misleading because it isn't actually going to embed the video. It's only going to show a link to the video. So that if we enter a direct URL to a video file in this area and give it a title and click Insert into Post, it's actually going to insert a link to the video. Now this is only the case with WordPress.org or a self-hosted WordPress account. What we want to do, however, or the best solution for embedding video using WordPress.org or a self-hosted account, is to embed the video using YouTube. Now, if you don't want to use YouTube, for instance, if you're, if you're files are too large to upload to YouTube or you have copyright issues, you can always install a plugin, a really good video plugin for WordPress by going down here to Plugins Add New. You want to look at the ratings of the plugins and how many people are using them to determine which would be the best one. But by far the easiest way to embed bed video into your WordPress post is to use YouTube. So to do that, we would go to the YouTube video that we want to embed, scroll down toward the bottom, and click Embed. So what we'll do is we'll change some settings here, and then we will grab the code, and we will paste the code over into our WordPress post. We have a number of options here. We can include related videos so that uh, similar videos show up after a reader has listened to our video that they might be interested in. And they, uh, YouTube pulls them actually directly from YouTube. We can have a border around our video or not. We can enable privacy enhancement mode. You can read more about that by clicking that question mark. We can have our video play in high definition. Or we can use an iframe embed code instead of an, an object. I prefer not to do that in WordPress. Okay, then we can choose the color scheme of our embedded video, and that would uh, affect the border. And we can also choose a size. For this blog, I'll probably choose the smallest size. And once we've done that, we want to copy our code and bring it over here and paste it into our blog post. However, you want to make certain that your paste code only in the HTML view of WordPress and not the visual view. So we want to click on HTML, paste the code right here, and then go back to our visual mode and see we can get a general idea of what the video is going to look like, but we won't actually see the video until we click Preview. Okay, well the video is now embedded in our post. Now our readers can watch the video directly from here by clicking the play button. Or they can double click on the video, which will take them directly to the YouTube page. Now if you don't like the size of the video, don't like the options or the sizes that YouTube offers, you can go back to the HTML mode, and you can actually control those sizes yourself. See, there's a width here, and there's height. 
Now there are actually two places you need to do this. Right up here toward the top and then again toward the bottom. Right here, width, and height again. So you would change those to whatever specifications you want. And so that's how we would embed a video using YouTube at WordPress.org or using a self-hosted blog. Now, embedding videos into a WordPress.com blog is a little bit different because we can't paste code like we can at uh, using our self-hosted blog. If we try to, let's see what happens. First of all, if we try to do it in a visual mode like I just did, it's going to show nothing but the actual code. So we'll delete that and we'll go to the HTML mode to do that. And then when we look at visual, it actually looks like it's going to embed the video. But if we go over to preview, we see that indeed that's not the case. Because WordPress will strip the code. Now that's okay because WordPress.com offers an, an alternate way to insert video URLs. So we'll go to Upload Insert, we'll click on Add Video, and then we'll choose Add Video from URL. Now, as opposed to the way WordPress.org embeds only the link to the URL, WordPress.com actually allows you to put the URL to the video in and then it tags it so that it knows that it's a video and it will actually show the video. So if we go to YouTube, we don't want the embed code because we just learned that we can't do that in WordPress.org. Instead, we want to grab the actual direct URL or link to the video. We're going to go back to our WordPress.com blog and we'll post the direct URL to the video here and then we'll click on insert into post. Now see what happens is that it, it tags it in a way that it knows that it's a video and it will display it accordingly. So if now we click preview the video is actually embedded into our post. Now one other thing to note is that you actually do have options as to how you can control the height, width, and whether it shows in HD, just like in the embed code, but it's a little bit more involved. If we go to this icon again and click on Add Video from URL, we want to click on YouTube Instructions and it will actually give us some instructions. This is the WordPress.com support page and it will show us how we can add additional, additional parameters to the end of our YouTube tag to control the width and height by adding our width and height tags. Same thing for um, displaying in HD and a number of other things. So if you do need a little bit more control, it's worth clicking on that link to learn more about how to do that. And that concludes this session.